After 31 years of marriage, Lynn and I thought we'd try something new. Variety is a spice of life and all that. To this end, we booked a short city break. Although we have holidayed in cities before, Calgary and San Francisco on our North American adventure, and Marrakesh in Morocco, we spent a week in each of these, so not really a city break. For our first break, we are going to do three nights in Athens in February. We're not sure what the weather is going to be like, but probably not very warm. It might even snow, which would be exciting. Of course, we're not going for the weather, but rather the sights. In a place that's been occupied for around 5,000 years, there should be lots to see and do, and not just the Parthenon on the Acropolis, although that, of course, is going to be high on our list. While Athens doesn't really pass the fish finger test, it's still a place we both want to visit. If you're wondering what the fish finger test is, it works like this. Say the following phrase, while I was in, insert the location, I bought a packet of fish fingers. Try this for yourself, first by inserting say, Hull, and then change it to Santiago, which sounds more exciting and exotic. Nothing against Hull. We've booked this with our local travel agent. We are currently zero for four success rate with them, with every attempt to book either going wrong in the planning stage or cancelled after we'd booked. It's never been their fault, but we'll keep trying. You should support your local shops. We'll be staying at the Fresh Hotel in the city centre and our flights are with EasyJet. Three nights in a four-star hotel with bed and breakfast and private transfers has come in at £574.21. Or to break that down further, that's £244 per person for the flight and hotel and £85 for the transfers, which I think is pretty good. In the spirit of adventure, we're also going to attempt to this trip with hand luggage, but not just any hand luggage, the teeny tiny EasyJet hand luggage, which is just 30 litres capacity and must fit under the seat in front. We've bought two new cabin bags slash backpacks from Cabin Max. Apparently they're made from recycled plastic bottles, which had absolutely no influence on my choice, but may be a soul for your travel conscience. There are concerns from Lynn about how much tat we'll be able to bring back, but on the plus side, Lynn won't be able to stick a bottle of rum in my hand luggage without telling me, so I get stopped by security, which is what happened at Malaga Airport. Lastly, as demonstrated by this, I'm toying with the idea of doing this as a vlog rather than a blog. Several people have suggested this, so I thought I'd give it a go. Unsurprisingly, doing a vlog is a lot more work. It takes a bit of planning and forethought, not one of my strong suits. And unfortunately, I don't have a production crew to plan, arrange and film everything. What I don't want to do is lose sight of the fact that the purpose of our trips is first and foremost is to have fun and see stuff, not produce a TV show. If we enjoy this sort of trip, it may become a regular thing. We can have three to four short breaks for the cost of a normal holiday. And now that Lynn has stepped down from her manager role and allegedly reduced her hours, it should be easier to pop in a short break here and there rather than a full week. And if the vlog thing isn't too much of a faff, then three nights in might become a regular thing. So that's a prologue for this format and three nights in. Please let me know in the comments if you prefer this format or the written stuff.